in this video we are going to talk about antiderivatives an antiderivative it is also called a primitive function or indefinite integral and it is nothing but the opposite of a derivative which we discussed in our previous videos an antiderivative denoted by the symbol capital f of x is a function where taking the derivative of f dash of x gives you the original function f of x we can express mathematically this as f dash of x is equal to f of x so finding antiderivatives is the process of calculating integration which is the fundamental concept of calculus uh, integration has numerous applications in various fields especially in science and engineering where we can calculate area under a curve calculating displacement from velocity and many more before going to the problems we should know the basic ideas the basic notations of indefinite integrals the set of all antiderivative of the function f of x is called an indefinite integral of the function f with respect to the variable x and it is denoted as integral f of x is equal to capital f of x plus c where this symbol is stands for the integral sign and inside the integral we have the function f of x this function is called the integrand of the integral and we are going to integrate the function with respect to the variable x and finally after the integration we have to write a letter c this c is called the constant of integration so before going to the problems you have to remember some of the formulas which are very essential the concept of integration so here i have list out some of the main formulas which we are using in the calculus apart from that there are many formulas but it would be better if you remember at least these formulas so the first one this is the basic formula integration of x to the power n into dx it is equal to x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c with the condition n value not equal to 1 formula number 2 integral dx is given by x plus c formula number 3 integral 1 over x into dx it is equal to the natural logarithm of x or ln x plus c next one integral e to the power ax into dx is equal to e to the power ax upon a plus c and like that we have many formulas let us go to the problems evaluate integral x to the power 2 minus 2x plus 5 into dx so here in the function we have three terms x power 2 minus 2x plus 5 so what i do i am going to integrate x power 2 into dx then 2x into dx then 5 into dx so just recall you the first formula integral x power n into dx that is given you x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so using this idea here we have power 2 so this will become x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 which is nothing but x power 3 by 3 if I move to the second term we have a negative sign over here and if you see the term inside we have 2x so let me take 2 outside then what is remaining we have only x into dx so once again here n value is 1 if I apply this formula I will get x to the power 2 upon 2 then in the last term we have only constant 5 so take the constant 5 outside then we have left with only integral dx so integral dx is nothing but x so now i integrate all the three terms after all the integration we have to write the constant of integration c so my final answer will be x to the power 3 over 3 by cancelling 2 in the second term that will give you x power 2 plus 5x plus c this number 2 again we have three terms 3x to the power 4 
plus 4x minus 2. So we can do like this. We have taken 3 outside from the first term. Integration of x power 4 will give you x to the power 5 over 5. Plus, let me take 4 from the second term. Integration of x will give you x power 2 by 2. Then minus 2 will be there. Integration of in dx will be given will be x then plus c. So by simplifying this, we will get 3x to the power 5 upon 5. 2 and 4 get cancelled. That will leave you 2x power 2 minus 2x plus c. Test number 3. Here my function is x to the power 2 minus 5x plus 1 over x. So before integration what I do, I have to split like this. Integral x power 2 by x minus 5x over x plus 1 over x. So you have to do like this or you can separate term by term also like this. It is up to your convenient. So now by cancelling x and x that will give you only x minus second term also I can cancel x and x that will give you 5 plus the third term will be 1 over x into dx. Now integration of x will give you x power 2 by 2. The second term integration of 5 with respect to x will give you 5 times x and integration of 1 over x we have a formula that is equal to ln x plus c. Question number 4 we have to integrate evaluate 1 over x power 2 plus 1 over x plus e to the power x. Please remember you have the formula only for 1 over x into dx. 1 over x into dx that is equal to ln x plus c. But if you see the first term, I have 1 over x power 2. So how I can integrate? So before integrate, you have to take that x power 2 to the numerator. So my first term will become minus x power 2 into dx plus second term is 1 over x into dx and my third term is integral e power x into dx. So once again, apply the very first formula that is x to the power n. Here n value is minus 2. So as per the formula, I have to add plus 1, then minus 2 plus 1 in the down. And this is nothing but this formula. So the second term will become ln x. And the third term, integral e power x is nothing but same e power x plus c. So now the first term will be, uh, here no no need for integral symbol because we have already taken x power minus 2 right so this will become x to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus ln x plus e power x plus c once again bring down this x to the power minus 1 to the denominator we'll have minus 1 over x plus ln x plus e power x plus c this is my final answer Question number 5. Again the same concept. The numerator has two terms. The denominator has one term. So first let me split the given function like this. Integral 1 over x dx plus integral x to the power 2 over root x. We know that square root of x is nothing but x power half. So in the first term we have 1 over root x. So let me take this root x up. So it will become x power minus half so we will get this one in the second term we have x power 2 once again let me take root x up so it will be x power minus half so we will get this one so now integration of x power minus half this will give you minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 so this is equal to x power 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 or this 2 will go up so we will get 2 into x to the power 1 over 2 this is nothing but 2 times of square root of x so we will get this one for the second term this one we have 
same base value x and x so if the bases are equal we can add the powers so i have in x to the power 2 minus 1 by 2 here the denominator is 1 by simplifying this we will get 4 minus 1 by 2 so this will be x power 3 by 2 so integration of this will give you x power 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 so that is x power 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 this 2 by 5 will go up so we have 2 by 5 x power 5 by 2 after the integration we will write plus c <clears throat> the next one solve the initial value problem dy by dx equal to sin x with the condition y of 0 equal to 5 so what i have to do first let me write the equation so dy by dx is equal to sin x so integral both sides so this will give you integral dy by dx is equal to integral sin x into dx this will give you the original function that is y integration of sin x will give you minus cos x we know that after the integration we will write c so this is like v of x equal to minus cos x plus c here i have to substitute this condition so what is the condition the condition is y of 0 equal to 5 that means in place of x i have to put 5 so here this will become 5 so i will get minus cos x plus c equal to 5 so from this we will get c value so c equal to 5 plus cos x x value is equal to 0 so let me replace x value by 0 so i am getting c equal to 5 plus cos 0 cos 0 value 1 so 5 plus 1 that will give you c equal to 6 so this 6 c equal to 6 we have to substitute in this equation so that will give you y equal to minus cos x plus 6 so here as usual i have given you some problems in the left hand side you have the problems in the right hand side we have the solution do it yourself see you in the next video